What's going on, everybody, and welcome to the Sophisticated Grizzly on screen. We got Mass Creator, Mr. JB. We got Brother Andre, and tonight, y'all already know what we're talking about. But before I get into that, we got to hit you with that bear attack. <laughs> Let's start off glorious. everybody and welcome back to the sophisticated grizzly and tonight the grizzly fragrance show we're going to be talking about uh self-care health care we're going to be talking about fragrances of course skin care we're going to be talking talking to the fellas about taking care of each other taking care of yourselves and things of that nature so here's the thing since we're talking about this stuff we're about to have a crossover so in order to have the crossover we got to hear from mrs grizz so here we go oh there's that man again Uh, That's right, everybody. We are doing a bit of a crossover because that is tonight's content is right up my alley. This is uh, kind of what I do as far as when I put my videos out talking about the Teddy Files. But this isn't the Teddy Files. This is definitely the Sophisticated Grizzly. But we are going to be crossing over into what I do over on YouTube is talk about fragrances, and let people know the best time to get them and things of that nature. And um, you know, I'm going to show a couple of videos to show you know how to how to groom and take care of yourselves and things of that nature. But um, JB. Yeah. Yeah. What, what is when you uh, start your grooming, you know, and uh, you know what we got one of the Queens and this one of the Queens, everybody, Miss Bronwyn has entered the building. Hey, hey Bronwyn. Hey y'all. What's going on? And Miss Bronwyn, you already know it. I never, let me say this to y'all. I never, ever, ever smelled Miss Bronwyn stinking. So she knows what it's like to smell good. Damn it. <laughs> and, uh, guess who's in the building, everybody? Based with the brand new setup. Oh, what up, y'all? Hey, 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 what's up, stranger? Camera, he's setting up the camera. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, hey, Grizz. What's up? Thanks to you, my brother. Absolutely. Hey, you know what, brother? I'm glad I could be a service. I'm glad I could be a help. You know what I mean? I'm not Appreciate sure who the you, Facebook bro. user is, but they said, hey, guys, so what's going on Facebook? That's Jay Nicole. Oh, Jay, what's happening? She's another another smelliet, everybody. So uh, Miss Brown will be a smelliet as well. Miss Jay Nicole is as well. Ms. Ms. Uh, Lady Shaw will be coming through as well. She's another smelliet. And um, we got my man, King Yeti. Good evening. And uh, he, he said, good evening, gentlemen, because you hadn't popped in yet, Miss Brown, and she popped out again. But we're we gonna start getting into it. But JB, your your um your let's just go with the morning healthcare regimen. What do you do as far as to take care of yourself in the morning, brother? Well, the most important thing that you gotta do every day without exception is drink water. Mm. Okay. Because water is the key to good skin. Mm -hmm. Water is the key to good health. So with my daily intake of water, um and then as far as my face, uh, I just use, um, a, what do you call it? A, um, face wash that I got. Um, it's something my sister bought for me. My sister is the a most immaculate, like, uh, skincare person. She, she buys all these amazing gifts and, um, it's I would I don't know the name of it, but it's a uh, black soap 
based and it is just great for exfoliation. It's not too astringent. It doesn't have any perfumes or dyes in it. And that's how I keep this young boyish look, you know, just by washing my face with something without a lot of um, additives and preservatives and all in it. It just keeps you getting a lot more healthy. And of course, um, during the course of the day, um, just a nice cool rag, wipe off with some water, you know, keep that, keep that nice moisturized face. And um, Boy. one of my... One of my biggest things that I use Moist. all the time, all the time, mm -hmm. is the Dove Men Plus Care Hydra Cream. Okay. I keep one on my desk. It's one in my house. It's one, you know, there's one in my car. It's just a nice, light, refreshing feeling, like after you wash your face, hydrates, keeps you looking good. And it keeps them moist. <laughs> we ain't doing that shit today, John. <laughs> oh, oh. It's either that or I tell you a, a story about my first run in with a horrific hygienic situation. A horrific hygienic. Uh, you know well, what? Yeah, I don't even know if I can tell it because it might be considered degrading to other people. So I'm not. I'm not. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say it. And I guess by uh, oh man, Richard's in the house. Yeah, of course. <laughs> of course, he already starts with beat off. Yeah, and Jay said it had to be John. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know what, John? I tell you what. Let's 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 get into uh, horrible horrible hygiene, so we can know what it, what good hygiene looks like. So, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put you center stage. I'll just let you. Start well, no, either way, either way, it's all good. But um, yeah. so we flash back to 2008, the place, Tampa, Florida, Nebraska Avenue, the notorious Nebraska Avenue. If you know, you know. Um, <laughs> so, you know, there was a short time in my life in Florida, you know, where the man cut my shit off and I had to use pay phone every now and then if I wanted to make a phone call. Right. I'm just trying to figure out how I can put this right. So there is a um, street worker. Well, well, this is a street worker. And she was using the phone before me. And I tell you what, I don't know if she used roach spray. See what I'm saying? This isn't going to be good for me. This is not going to fucking be good for me. But um, Man, say the shit. Hey, I, I'm too late now. I'm on record now. It don't matter. Um, Not unless she's looking for you. I'll pay you 50 bucks to uh, rewind the tape. Um, <laughs> and that, that, that was it. I was, uh, you know, and I'm not hating. I'm, hey, listen, you got to do what you got to do to make a dollar. I'm, you know, hey. But. Yeah, I'm not sure roach spray breath is going to make a dollar or anything else. No, this was like a cologne or something. It wasn't a big... It, it was all over. Yeah, and over. in Tampa, Florida, and I'm sorry, in Tampa, Florida, there's way too much water all over the place. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Tampa, Tampa Bay, come on, the Bay of Tampa. Nah, there ain't no reason. There, There's no reason. Oh, my God. You know what? Yeah, so we had, definitely had to start with that because uh, John gonna start some shit. <laughs> well, and on that note, brush your goddamn teeth, people. Yeah, brush as a matter your of teeth fact, and gargle. Before we get in, because I'm gonna ask the other guests as well. Uh, well, you know what? Not guests. I'm gonna ask the other family as well. Um, but before we get to that, I want to start with the very first grooming habit for men so here we go fellas here are six men's grooming and hygiene essentials every man should have one a body trimmer this is going to be good for manscaping which you want to do regularly to reduce the risk of odor and sweat build up two a razor you can use this to maintain and shape facial hair but i like to use it for my armpits three a mist wax stick this is good for preventing plaque buildup as well as reducing bacteria in the mouth Four, a water flosser. You can use traditional floss, but I prefer this because it does a much better job of removing food stuck between your teeth and also reduces the risk of gum disease. 
Five, a tongue scraper. This not only helps clean and remove bacteria from your tongue, but it reduces the risk of bad breath and can improve your sense of taste. And six, an electric toothbrush. I recommend this over a traditional toothbrush because it does a much better job of removing plaque as well as getting into the cracks and crevices of your teeth. Hope this helps, guys. No, one, no, one, I've, already got, one, I've, already, got, I've already got something to say. I've already got something to say. Five. I've already got something to say. Mm-hmm. Now, now, pardon my French for the women in the house, all right? I Much love and respect, but it is what it is. I'm wondering if he's ever lived in Florida where it's 90 degrees, so humid you can't breathe, and then you try to shave your balls? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, fuck that, dude! One time, one time, one, and I was dumping so much powder down there, man. Motherfuckers at work were swinging on me to make uh, powder clouds. What the fuck? What? I um, don't, I don't know what the hell that is. Oh, fuck that, and I never did that shit again. Well, uh, my mine wasn't that. Mine is that a black man should never use a razor under his arms because you use a razor, it scrapes off the first layer of dermis, and yeah. that's why you see people with black skin under their arms, just like uh-huh. you know women who use those razors. Um, um, I had to stop my daughter from doing it. Now, if she you use a body trimmer and a men's like uh foil. It'll do the same job without scraping off the um, top first layer of dermis. And, okay. you, you know, just use, I use uh, 100% cocoa butter when I shave under my arms yeah. because it stops it from itching. No, oh, okay. Uh, like the old cocoa butter sticks, after yeah. you shave, just rub your arms with cocoa butter every night or every day between, you know, your washing and all, and it'll be fine. But you should never use a, a a bladed razor to s- scrape under your arms. That's not right. Good. Now, JD, does, that, does the cocoa butter work when you're shaving your balls? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, John, you you missed that one, buddy. I don't. I don't. Am I on this thing? Sorry, I got cut off. I I don't give a shit. I'm not shaving my balls. <laughs> I don't. I don't care what. I don't care what beauty tips I get today. Well, John. You do realize they have deodorant for nuts now, too. Okay, my balls don't smell. Well, we'll you never re- know. We just, uh, I don't want nobody. I don't want nobody. Hey, if I'm with someone, nobody. listen, if I'm with someone and, you know, okay, I'll take care of business, but just if it ain't necessary, no, I'm not, I refuse to go through that shit I went through in Florida again. Well, how about this? Don't go through Florida again. <laughs> <laughs> Keep your ass here. <laughs> Don't and shave water. your nuts. And then you shave your balls <laughs> and put some of this on your balls right there. There you go. Uh, what is, dude what is powder. Powder. Okay. There you go, John. Dude powder. It actually is not a talcum powder. It's a uh, starch-based powder that has uh, charcoal in it. I have, yeah, I have some uh, starch powder here. I don't think it has charcoal in it, though. But yeah, this one, it, it, uh, the charcoal is definitely the older fighting. You know, and also it has um, it's this is mint chill, so you're gonna have some cool balls. Well, okay. there, there thank you go, bro. You. Thank, thank you. Hey, for, uh, Ain't nothing like walking around with a, a set of cool nuts. No, I'm just amazed at the concern for my balls tonight. You know, on this. <laughs> <laughs> We are not giving these tips just to you, sir. <laughs> we are not that concerned with the station of your nuts. We are not no, no. with male okay. grooming on a whole. Well, let Thank me you. I, I appreciate it. it. Some we, people make we love you, brother, but we are not that concerned. Good <laughs> <laughs> are your concern. A matter of fact, um, the Wait, man, hold on, guys, hold on. Let me read what Shauna said. Hold on, like some people make the sad mistake of putting on perfume or cologne over funk without washing, thinking they're going to smell better, and it smells like rose covered. <laughs> <laughs> That, that's exactly what I experienced in my Tampa story. That's it right there. That's it. Oh, my God. And wait a minute. Uh, Rich said John don't get in any action anyway. <laughs> hey, John, John, it all it all starts with the balls, brother. It all starts with the balls. It all starts with the balls. Uh, but you know. Okay. Oh, all right. I, I don't know how to respond to that one. But okay. <laughs> if you got a father time beard between your legs, women will be turned off. 
Well, I take care of my Father Tom beard if necessary. Thank you. All right. We were <laughs> talking about balls. I'm not just talking we about, about you. I'm talking about in general. We're going to get off the balls because guess what? There's one person on here that don't have no balls. She got titty balls. <laughs> Man, I'm <laughs> I, I ain't definitely not touching that one. We're going to leave that alone. <laughs> But um, uh, I mean, I'm also, you know, I handle balls, so you know, you know, well, I mean? then, you know, yeah, you, you know. handle them. Well, sure. I mean, okay, well, you know what? If you ever want to have uh, have uh, Mr. Sir having the cool breeze on the balls, get, a, mm -hmm. get one of these right here. You can find it on yeah, Amazon. No. These work really good. And in all honesty, if he, if he's a sweater, any, anybody that's a sweater, this mm -hmm. per, this works perfect. I'm telling you, it cools you off and it keeps you dry. So, I actually the stuff that I have in all seriousness, the uh, powder that I have now that I remember does have the uh, menthol in it, like like yours does, I believe. Yeah, and um, it's actually it's not bad. It, it, like you said, it's it's cooling. It's not you know. Yeah, and um, honestly, like t tonight, I wanted I wanted to get into um quite a few things when it came to like. You know, healthcare and self care and all of that type of stuff. Um, mm -hmm. Who's this right here saying this? Uh, balls wins. <laughs> <Jesus. laughs> that's chosen one. That's my brother. That's my brother. Everybody. <laughs> that's my <laughs> <laughs> what's, up, what's up, bro? <laughs> we got Shauna saying dental floss is not always a good thing. Okay. Well, you know what? That's why he had that 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 water that water floss. No, no, so she's talking about damn. No, 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 no. She's talking about pubes, pubes, yeah, pubes. Oh, that's just nasty. Damn it! Uh, <laughs> and there are two women on the podcast. She said, "Okay, got you. Mm -hmm. well, Miss Lady Cow will be coming in as well. One day, Miss Shana, we're gonna have to get you up on screen so we can uh, mm -hmm. have this conversation live and in color. But um." I also wanted to get into different types of fragrances. Now, y'all know that the fragrances go from different okay, different seasons. You got your winter fragrances. You got your summer fragrances. You got fall and spring fragrances as well. So right now, we're in the heart of spring. So if you're thinking about trying to get, your, get, a, get a hold of like a good spring fragrance, then honestly, if you, wanna, if you don't want to spend a lot of money, if you're looking to not spend a whole lot of money, then this right here, uh, El Ganso's Hero, might be pretty good. It's about forty bucks. Um, it <clears throat> it smells extremely good. Uh, has a pretty good amount of longevity to it as well. Um, it's one of those fragrances that it smells really woodsy and um, almost has a almost has a, like a grassy clean type of um, uh, scent to it. But mm. if you are <clears throat> trying to step it up a little bit and you want to spend a little bit of money. And you want to have that um, almost like an apple bergamot type of thing going on, like a a fresh apple and bergamot and lemon type of um, fragrance, then mm. you cannot go wrong with this one right here. This is uh, Parfums de Marley, Greenly. And this one right here, now it's going gonna, it's gonna to run you about 200 but um, it's also one of those fragrances that's going to be on you all day. We got a the building now. What's going on, brother? Dude, what's up, my brother? What's up, brother? My man is on his way home. So yeah, so this is another one that you um definitely that that's definitely worth the money. Um, to me, as far as I'm concerned, it's it's worth the money that I spent for it. Uh, and I, of course, I got it on sale, so it's not like I'm spending. Like you know, thousands and thousands of dollars on fragrances. Like, believe it or not, many of these things I hunted. I hunted for these things. I hunted for deals. Mm -hmm. I hunted for coupons. I hunted for all of that stuff because I'm gonna be honest with you. On retail, this thing is probably I think close to three hundred. Damn. Yeah, close to three hundred. I've seen them. Uh, I've seen them as high as twelve hundred dollars, bro. God damn. I've seen fragrances as high as twelve hundred dollars, and um, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not goddamn doing it because uh, I like to smell good, but I also want to be able to eat food too. So uh, <laughs> I had, if I got to make a business decision when I'm buying the fragrance, I don't need that goddamn fragrance. <clears throat> but like, like JB was saying, um, 
like you know you get you get a good soap like do you guys use hand like um handmade soaps yes well you know what honestly um miss bronwyn can you tell everybody where you get your handmade soaps from it's just uh the market the farmer's market on 33rd right it's a um a black lady there that sells all natural soaps for anything you can imagine from dry skin to oily skin to everything in between all natural you can see all the ingredients that she puts in the soap mm. and i've been going to her for for years her um, her business name i think is you and me soaps okay and miss Bronwyn, if you don't mind if y'all take a look at miss brown with skin the soap works <laughs> Just take a look at Miss Bronwyn's skin. And soap works, okay? So uh, I'm telling you honestly, like to me, handmade soaps are the way to go. Um, mm -hmm. especially, um, especially as far as you know, people people that you can actually either see making a soap or people that you actually know yourself. Mm -hmm. Soaps like you know, um, our lady Shy's sister does her own um, handmade soaps as well. So mm -hmm. she has um uh it's called LR Majestics. I have a couple of her soaps here. So um so yeah, she has his website called LR Majestics and she makes some really, really good soap. And you can tell they're handmade because yeah, they have the uh you know the uh the imperfections on the top and everything. She made these, made these with love, and I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now, every last one of them smell good. I've gotten hell, I've gotten at least um maybe 10 15 of them from her so far and they all last really they last really good on your skin to get your skin really clean mm -hmm. and they all smell good and they're handmade so it's hard to go wrong with that and uh, it, it's ironic that i would sit here and i'm starting to talk about this soap as the sister of the lady that i'm talking about just walked in the room everybody please put your hands together for lady shy <laughs> <laughs> hello beautiful Hi. <laughs> so mm -hmm. you already know. I did. I did. I just did. did. Well, I'm gonna tell this soap. This soap is horrible. It make it make make your ass itch a little bit. Uh, just <laughs> no, this uh, so, like I had abolished. Had What's that? Abolished. Abolished. No <laughs> ass ass itches soap. No, no. This is a. This is a, it she like you got doo doo strains, strains in your underwear. Yo, you in the middle of the day. But yes, yeah, and also, if you also want like a nice pressed soap, I've actually found this other company that um, it's an Italian soap company, and they make um, let me see, it's it's, it's called um, handmade in Tuscany soaps. So, oh yeah, so it's called handmade in Tuscany. This one right here is vetiver. Um, the vetiver um warm soap, and um, it gets you clean. And I, when I'm telling you, like I like to use the term whistle clean, it actually gets it. it you feel it. You can drag it or drag your skin, and it'll pull. So it'll get it'll get you nice and clean. Now, what I'll say is this: you might also with these right here, they'll clean clean you really good. But you might want to make sure you have a moisturizer soap on hand to be able to you know to add a layer. Because I use there are times when I use a soap and I use a body wash. But then there are times that I use two different kinds of soaps. But I never use any of these soaps on my face. I never use this type of soap on my face. I just it's strictly for the body and things of that nature. There are specific soaps that you can get for your face. Um, well, now that we have the ladies in the room, um, is there a specific soap or anything that you use on your face, Lady Shaw? No, I don't use water. I've actually used I've actually used my sister's soap on my face. She has um she has a black Black African soap mm -hmm. and yes. one a triple and a triple oatmeal soap that she has that I use on my face and she has a lot of non scented or unscented soaps that um I've tried um but no I'm not a, I'm not a face um expert because my mm -hmm. skin is not the clearest skin so I you can't go by me they don't want your skin <laughs> don't put... I'm sitting here looking at you I'm sitting right here. <laughs> <laughs> Looking like Hagatha. I've been looking for Hagatha. You want to hear skin me and shit? Yeah. <laughs> so 
what? I also, ladies and gentlemen, guess who has become a connoisseur of fragrance? Let's just call him the um, uh, Sultan of Sea And that would be Mr. Bass. Mm -hmm. Mr. Bass has quite a few really good fragrances because between him and JB, they trying to give me a run for my money. I really think. Well, you are. see, this is just my on my desk collection that's right here, and that's not all of them. You, I just, you see, I, I just keep a few of them on my desk. Yeah, you hear him flexing, right? Yeah, that, that's, just, that's just in case I feel like I'm not as fresh as I should be here at work. So I'll go upstairs and do a fresher up and give me a little, you know, taste of, you know, freshness. You And and guys, you need, and I, I'm a firm believer, even in my car, I mean, I always have a couple different fragrances. Like my, my go-to fragrance that I keep in my car is my Tom Ford. Mm -hmm. Because that's pretty much good no matter what time of day, what time uh you know what event you're going to if you forget to splash something on you got it there because i'm infamous for running out the house after my bath because sometimes if my skin is too damp it yeah. won't hold the, the fragrance as well so i try yeah. to wait till my skin's back back to pat dry before i put on a fragrance so i always keep a selection of fragrances like here in my office i've got a couple in the car just in case i need that freshen up okay okay and um, um, let me see. Let me see. Hold on. I didn't mean to do that at all. But uh, let's see. Let me see. Um, brother Andre, before bass comes back in, do you have like do you have a signature scent? Would you say you have a signature scent, or does there a couple of fragrances that you like to use? I do not have a signature scent because one, I like oils. Okay. Okay. Oils are scents. And then that means I, like um, I like the Creed. <laughs> Creed is one of them. And okay. Creed has five different varieties. Okay. Okay. That's there's nothing. Look, we don't trash fragrance oils over here. We 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 big up anything that smells good. Yes, I love oils. Yeah, let me do. Because uh, here's the thing. Just because I got all of this right here, I got a, a dresser full of them. If you go behind there, you'll see an oil. We hiding oils. Yeah, I'm playing no game. I smell good all the time, every day, all day. Twice on Sunday and three times on Monday. I don't play no games. Hi, go. Hi, go, Grizz. All the time. I smell good. All, smell yeah, good day, all, all day, the all time. time. The, yes, and damn right. All the time I smell good. Smell good all the time. You damn right. Well, <clears throat> yeah. thanks to Brother Grizz, this is this is my go-to cologne. Oh, yeah. Go, wow, wow. That, Yes, that that is fire. Have you smelled then, one? I think because I, I know I smelled one when I went. Oh, yes. Dude. Old school. Oh, that's old school. Right there. I'm telling you, I got it. Brother right. Grizz, you recommended this one. Yeah. And, yep. and honestly, to me, it's on it's one of the perfect summertime, springtime fragrances. Oh, yeah. It's, nice, yeah. it's clean, it's like, fresh. Mm -hmm. And it it, it, it and Jimmy Choo. My man got the Jimmy Choo. See what I'm saying? That's what I, see. This is what I'm talking about. My man Bass has a. Uh, he done, he done stepped up to the plate. He got the Dracar. Yeah. I still have a bottle of Dracar myself. That used to be my shit right there. <laughs> Don't pull up the cool water. Dracar and I ain't even gonna pull up the uh, hot karate yet. The cool water. Oh yeah, the cool water. That's that's that's, that's that, that, that going to a cookout fragrance. <laughs> Cool water, that's what I wear outside, like when I'm in the going to cookouts or barbecues or something like that. It seems to always carry really well. Oh, okay. You know, cool water got a lot of different kinds, right? Yeah. <laughs> that's grapefruit and sage. Damn. I haven't that's seen so that one. I need to get yeah. that one. Like you know, shot. well, my go to fragrance, one that I buy every time they come out with a new one, and I have two bottles here on the desk, is Mont Blanc. Uh -oh. I mm. love Mont Blanc. Their fragrances, um, I've got on my desk, I've got Individual, and I've got Spirit. But I've got like six different bottles of um, the Mont Blanc fragrances. They, oh, they are amazing. You know, I love, I got the Mont Blanc Blue right yep. up here. I've got this one here is uh, the Red. Yeah, I have the Red at home. Legend, That's the Legend Red. So the thing is, like, now the reason that I'm talking about these specific fragrances right here, these are inexpensive fragrances. So you don't have to spend a whole lot of money to smell good. Mm -hmm. Honestly, like, believe it or not, I buy, 
I buy a lot of this stuff like this because I, I, I talk about it. You know what I mean? But see, like this, shop said this was nice. And this is not expensive. I think I paid $30 for that. You know? But like I said, when you step up to these types of things right here, it's only if it's something that you want to do. You should never feel any kind of pressure to buy a niche fragrance. Because here's the thing. I got a niche fragrance right here. This is um, 65 bucks. All niche fragrances aren't expensive. Like this one right here, I wore this to an event, and um, honestly, people kind of follow me around. I'm a little fight, but um, I got a little, a little stalkish. A little stalkish. <laughs> but uh, my daughter, she got me a little spoiled because she keeps buying me the Versace. So she bought me the Versace Eros, and then she got me the Versace Eros Flame. Oh, oh yeah, that yeah. flame. Yes, sir. That flame oh. ain't no joke. Let's mm -hmm. see this one. Now I, I have I've been getting into the house of Quran lately. Now, uh, sis, when I when I went to um uh Mr. Mr. Man's party, went to his uh -huh. birthday party, this yeah. is what I was wearing. It's from the same house. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is these are French fragrances. I spent about about $70 for this one. Uh, it's about a house of Quran. Quran is um Le Soir, and um this right here, it is it has a sweetness to it, but it's nice, airy, and clean. Now, I'm not gonna ask you if you remember what I smelled like because that was a while ago. But, I don't. Uh, I'm, you know, I was sitting here trying to remember. I smell powder in the back. Yes, it has it, it has a, a, a powdery iris in it, but it also has a, a praline in it. Mm. And it's really, it's just it's really clean. classy, clean and classy, and it has just a, a hint. It's not. Overly sweet at all. That's the kind oh, okay. of thing next when she smell you all up in here. When I sprayed it, me and her almost didn't make it out the house. Oh, she was about to jump. She, she, she jumped. She jumped. Uh oh, <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> I might have to look into that. They almost ain't make it out the house. That's I'm like, wait a minute. Damn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, but you know, a, a, a lot. There's a lot of things that we can do as far as skincare, and you know what, I have to ask. Um, Ms. Brown, and then I want to go to base. Ms. Brown, what do you do as as far as your um, skincare? Is it just the soap, or do you do other things as well? Uh -huh, yeah, I do other things. I, and I think the thing about the soap is the her soaps that I use from the um, farmers market. I use them on my face as well because it's all natural ingredients. Right, right. And then they're the only ones that I don't use or of hers i think is, is the green tea I, mm -hmm. for some reason i think i'm allergic to that because it kind of irritates me okay okay but yeah all of her soaps are like ingredients like poppy seeds roses you know coffee beans like it's you know all natural stuff like that down even down to the frankincense and myrrh like oh, all wow. of her stuff is like all natural ingredients that so i use it everywhere yeah. But I do like, and I, I, and the thing is, like I said, I've been going to her for so long. I know like what scents could irritate me that I could be allergic to, and right. what I can't use. So I know exactly what to get. I get the oatmeal bars for my granddaughter, mm. and yeah, it's it's perfect. She eats it. That's how natural it is. Waverly like stop eating the soap, but it it tastes sweet because it's like oatmeal and honey and goat's milk and. Mm. And oh, she now yeah. Waverly washing her up. She's licking the soap off of her. <laughs> oh, by the way, everybody, that, that's probably, that's to me one of the cutest babies I've seen in a long time. She got her grandmama. Face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she, I'm gonna tell y'all right now, she's she gonna give you hell because she's a fighter. She's fussy. Yeah. She's, yeah. Gonna, she's, gonna, she's gonna swing on the niggas back up. <laughs> so, yes, uh, indeed. As far as your health care, as far as your skin care and things of that nature, what do you use, my man? Because believe it or not, as far as your skin care, but before we get to that base, if you don't mind, can you please tell the people that are watching right now, if you don't mind sharing your age with the people that, that, that are watching right now? I am I am 23 today. He's 23 today. Oh, right. A bullshit. Okay. A bullshit. <laughs> bullshit. No, I am... I am I am 66 years of age. That's just in there. That's what I'm talking about. Now look, now we'll see what y'all. I want y'all to look at the black that didn't crack. 
I want y'all to take a look at the flags that did not crack. This is what 66 looks like, okay, right here. That's what I'm talking about. Now, brother, what do you do to take care of your skin and take care of yourself? Hmm, boy. Because we're trying to educate the masses tonight. We want people to look good, smell good, feel good. Yeah. And that's where Chad's going to come in on the feel good part because we're going to start getting the bodies and everything. Gotcha. I need to work. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, you know, because I'm because I'm a guy. I guess we don't. I don't do a whole lot. Um, mm -hmm. Since I've I've gotten more into colognes um, and body lotions, um, I'm I'm how you say it? I'm starting to exfoliate well, yes, more sir. than ever. Yeah, you gotta you know. Exfoliate. That's a good thing. Yeah. Yeah, and that's a beauty. Honestly, like you have to do that because that dead skin. On your face, mm -hmm. you leaving the dead skin on your face, it actually ages your skin because mm -hmm. your skin works twice as hard to get the nutrients in because that dead skin is on your face. Yeah. So, uh, so like, base basically just wake up, wash, and walk. That's it. Mm -hmm. You just wake up, wash, and walk. You don't do a lot to his face, you know what I mean? But no, you do no, it fully. No. But do you put um? Now, what I do, I did want to recommend, and this is for anybody. It's not just for um men. This right here is called hemp's. Right here, mm -hmm. and it actually, um, it's a uh, um, it's a hemp lavender chamomile lotion, and it um actually has retinol in it. Oh. So that actually that helps tightens up your skin, tighten up your skin. And men, stop being stupid. We need this shit as we start to get older. And what's when it called? It's called Hemp's. Hemp's. Yeah, it costs like seventeen dollars. I found it on Amazon, and I've been using it. And look, my my skin is on point. Yeah, yeah. It's a really that's a really good brand. <laughs> now, now so, brother John, what do you do? What do you do with your face? What do you do to take care of your face? Thanks for that. With me? Yes, sir. Hey, you know what? I I was born I, I was born in ivory soap, dude. Okay, that's a good soap. Don't you use that shit no more. He can you use take, it. Take, you know, soap. hardcore ivory soap. Hey John, I'm gonna give you a couple of these, my man. Okay, you send them, I'll use them. I'm going to give you a couple of these, and I'm going to be honest okay. with you. You, you need send them, I'll you use them. have sisters coming after him. He don't need that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't really. I don't do anything. I don't, I don't do anything special. Yeah. Well, you know, the and, thing about it is, is this is this is where we learn. And I'm, and I'm beautiful for 53, you know what I'm saying? I mean. Hey, you know what? Why the hell not? I, I, would, I, would, I would say, in all honesty, I didn't even know you was that old, so damn it, hell. That's the, you see what I'm saying? I, I, I knew you were 92, John. You're your stick. <laughs> have one, not one. We got, uh, <laughs> but, my opinion, that hemp lotion is the Yes, sir. Well, can I you, Chris? The uh, hemp lotion that's got obviously hemp oil in it, I'm guessing. Marshall, Marshall's Ross, or TJ Maxx. Thank you. That's, that's great advice, my man. Great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Great, John. The uh that has hemp oil in it, I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it actually helps to relax, helps to relax, you know, relax the um uh the um you know the pores in your body and things of that nature, and it allows your body to absorb it a little bit better, especially with the retinol, which actually tightens up your skin a little bit. Because mm -hmm. most people I've told most people, and this is just not me bragging, this is just me being real. If I dye my beard, you would have no idea how old I am. You have no clue how old I am. If I dye my beard, you wouldn't know shit about my age. Yo, Grizz. I'm 51. What's up, bro? Wave your hand in front of your camera so that it'll focus again. It's out of focus. Okay. It was like, as soon as I took my glasses off, everybody else went blurry. Like blurry and focus. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's not refocusing. Did you cut off autofocus by mistake? No, I actually got Because you were crispy focus. clear earlier. Yeah, see, when it's all close, everything's in focus. Yeah, probably me putting stuff in the damn camera and stuff. I'm just still blurred. But yeah, it's still yeah. Blurred. yeah, I can't see, so it's blurred to me anyway. We'll see. Um, the only thing I would have to turn off the camera to turn off the autofocus. Um, Let me see if it, if I move out, focus on you. Focus on the camera. <laughs> Are you going to move after I said focus on you? <laughs> no. Nah. When you're close, it's focused, so I don't know whether yeah. it's lost focus or not. Probably because of this, believe it or not, it does a lot of that times with me, some because of this shit in the background. So because my background's so busy, sometimes it'll um uh 
it'll climb out of focus. See, look at child. You can see her all in the camera. She, of course, look she's at all cute. Little chocolate she, drop. Oh, of course she's, <laughs> in, of course she's in the damn camera. <laughs> I was trying to help with focus. Uh, focus needs more focus. <laughs> <laughs> I was showing you how big my eyes get. Mm. Hey, hey, Grizz. Not happening. Huh? Don't get me started on her eyes, man. No. <laughs> yeah, let's not. Let's not get you. <laughs> <laughs> they say going to stop, you know. He ain't going to stop. Because, <laughs> damn it. See, this is why you have a backup plan, everybody. Because, you see, sometimes technical difficulties happen. You know, you can't blame me you anymore. Yes, you I, 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 I can shit. blame you. <laughs> I will blame you till the end of the planet. I'm going to let you know right, right now. Every time something go wrong, Sha did it. So just so y'all know, if something broke, Shy did it. I did. Only thing that Shy don't do is if something stink. That ain't Shy. That ain't true. <laughs> Let's see this. I'm gonna get this damn thing. But anyway, you know what? Let's just let's try to get into it. See if we it'll, it'll, it'll focus on its own. Um, why are you talk? Why you, you work on it? Find. So I use a lot of Bath and Body products and my sister's products. Yeah. The, L, the LR. Um, LR's Majestics. Majestics. Mm -hmm. I use their mm -hmm. products. I mix them sometimes. I wash them. I mean, wash up with it. She got a scrub now too. And I, I'll scrub with that, and then I'll like go back over it with like I love vanilla smells. Mm -hmm. So I'll use like a um my favorite, which is um oh my goodness, how you forget the name of the thing when I wear it all the time. Uh, vanilla no wow. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Vanilla bean no wow, and it's so it's a limited edition type uh, uh product. So I always stack up on it around Thanksgiving and Christmas, and then I mix it with different stuff that I wear because I just love the smell of it. So, and then I'll go over. Uh, I have a question uh, for everybody. Um, have you guys used uh, sage oil? Sage, sage oil? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, no, I haven't used sage oil. Me neither. But I do have an issue with what you just did, John. Uh -oh. We got to not cut off somebody while they're talking. So like I was still in the middle of a sentence when you said you cut me off. You gotta kind of wait till somebody's finished what they're talking about, and then you can go on. And that's for everybody, not just you, John, but just to make sure. All right, yeah. Sorry, I, I I didn't hear you. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. Go ahead, I'm um, trying to set the camera back up, everybody, but um, we can keep on talking. Um, let me see. Uh. Y'all going to say right. something? <laughs> I got quiet. But um, does I mean, does anybody have a, a routine that they, you know, think that they do that nobody else does, you know, as far as their, you know, prep for their face or body? Like, is well, it something um, that you do that nobody else would, that you think nobody else does on a routine? Well, what, I, what I've started doing is um, once I take me a nice hot shower in the morning, um, I wrap a towel around with the lower extremities, and once I towel myself down, I, I um hit the deodorant and I hit the whatever spray I'm gonna use for that day, whatever cologne, and then I'll I'll put my uh, t-shirt on, and then I'll I'll top the t-shirt off with a little bit of cologne to, so it'll stay with me all day. Um, but that's basically my routine, and like I said, lotion, you know, I lotion mm -hmm. up real good and, and make sure I got lotion on my face, so I keep that that youthful, uh, you know situation going on but um mm -hmm. other than that um no and i got me a pair of sketches that way i ain't gotta i ain't gotta bend over to tie my shoes i ain't no longer double jointed sketches are really good shoes from what i hear they really are okay. there you go <laughs> much, much that's because i helped them out no i just turned that shit off <laughs> <laughs> But another thing, now another thing, I wanted for for the people that shave, for the for the men that shave, because I don't think the ladies will want to use this. Now I don't know what the hell you use in your daily shaving. And if they and if they do, we don't mind them sharing. Well, <laughs> I'm a, a base. If they use this, in all honesty, that's not that's not sharing. That's Sean. Okay, just so you know, that's not sharing. That's Sean, if they use this at all, but fellas. Just, just you know how our um our fathers used to use aftershave back in the day, aftershave yeah. lotion, bomb and things of that nature. Well, I've actually gotten back into using that 
And um, I went out and got this right here. Royal Copenhagen. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. oh, I, still have, I still use Royal Copenhagen. I have a wow. lot of plastics. I'm going to tell you, this thing going to burn, but it's going to burn nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, love, I love that smell. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a majestic smell. Yeah. Yeah. Undeniable. Oh, why you say just twist the top? This one. <laughs> Smell alcoholic. That's it's, a, it's it's an upgrade from brute. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. yes, definitely. Uh, yeah, now if you still use, no brute, if you <laughs> using brute Faberge, I'm worried about you. Um, I'm, let I'm, me I'm, tell I'm, you, I told you about this Grizz before. Remember, I got a whole shelf in mm -hmm. my back where in my back dressing room of <laughs> colognes and body art fragrances that people have bought me that are either fourth to fifth <laughs> low tier that I will never use unless somebody cuts me and I need to close open a wound because they 90% alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he he didn't but, show me about um, the, 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 the cologne that's the substitute for polo is golf. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, 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 so what, my brute is on that shelf because I have gotten brute. Snail mucus. Oh, who's oh, uh, that's you know Jay? Because you know Jay is also uh, um, a, a fragrance maker. She makes uh, shea butters. If somebody says something about snail meat, I, I don't know if I want snail snail shit on me. You know, I don't know if I want. But I wanted you know to show y'all something. Up like with a snail. I wanted to show y'all something. It's very like the slime that life. they create. Yeah, slime from snail. But this right here, right? This right here. Is the cologne? This is the cologne that started all this shit right back here. This what is, is the one that started all of it. This is Safari Ralph Lauren Safari. Okay. This is a barbershop fougere, and if you don't know what a barbershop fougere is, it's one of those fragrances that remind you of barbersaw, barber soap, things of that nature. It has like lavender and lemon and things like that. And this might seem a little old school lavender to you, shy, and shy. Lemon? Yeah. This might seem a little old school, but I swear to God, I love it. I swear about it. It is old school. <laughs> I can see my granddaddy. What <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? It's the one that got me started on all the rest of this because I was wearing um, Avon fragrances before then. He's the old man and, in Alba. Yeah. And me, I actually I actually wore um, uh, was Avon really nice. to my brother's house. And um, my brother said, I stink to high heaven. So he took my ass to uh, Macy's. I think it was Macy's or Head Company. And he asked me, did I have enough money to get like an actual real cologne? I said, well, how much do I need? He said, probably no more than like $60. I said, okay, I got it. And the moment I walked in, usually I was, when I would go in Macy's and places like that, I would walk right past them people because they'd come spraying on you and shit. And I didn't know what the hell they was doing. This is the first time I actually stopped at the fragrance counter. And it opened up a whole different world for me. And I smelled all of these different fragrances. And this is the one that I landed on. And in all honesty, this is a fragrance that I will always have in my collection. I will always have this in my collection. Classic. It smells good, and it gets the damn job done. And so, but the thing is, because of the fact that, you know, you start getting into fragrances and different smells and stuff like that, you also want to make sure you step your game up. And a lot of times when you decide to step your game up, you start getting into fragrances that are, let's just say, independent fragrance people. You know, and so when you start getting into independent fragrance people, you get into a company like this one, and that's Corbage. Corbage. Yeah. So I know it's out of focus again, again, but there it is. I think it just comes back. Every here. time I take my glasses off, yep. every time. It's like I can't see her no more. No, it's not back <laughs> that time. Is the autofocus is working again? It's not like liquor. Mm -hmm. It has um cognac in it. Ooh. Yeah, it, has, it starts off with cognac. It's not like you need a cigar. Yeah, it, this is this is Ooh. let's put it like this. This is grown in sexy shit right here. Mm -hmm. This is not this is not some shit that you just wear with a t-shirt, polo shirt. You don't wear that with this. No, you need to put on some shit with that one right there. Because oh, yeah? not to mention I it, like it, stuff it, like it, that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think I paid about eighty bucks for it. Oh, but it's I, like, it's a really nice smell. Like, this is the box. I'm trying to see what all the smell. Yeah, this is how it comes in. 
like that. Okay. Put that in the group. This hey, Grin. Hey, Grin. Put it in the group. That's that okay. fragrance that you Please, see in put your that pocket in the group. to the end of the night at the club and spray it on so the girls just drunk will follow you home. <laughs> you got more liquor. I'm following you. <laughs> so, and also, another thing that I wanted to talk about, in case you can, for anybody that did not know, there are fragrances out here that are made for people who may be on a fragrance budget, but they still want to smell good. So, if you're on a fragrance bu budget and you still want to smell good, and I think Mrs. Grizz just scared the hell out of Shot uh, but um, if you're on a fragrance budget and if you still want to smell good, then um, this right here is from a cologne brand. This is from Pandora Scents. And this is called, uh, this is Milano Privé. Shasha, check that out first. Because Shasha is going to bring up some, some lady fragrances as well. So, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a company that I order from. Their, their scents are amazing. Milano Privé. Yeah. You know, because I'm going to say private. <laughs> Hey, Grizz, let me see the bottle again. Oh, the bottle? Okay. Oh, it's it. Oh, okay. It's Milano. You said Milano, right? Yeah, Milano Privé. And I'm going to spray it in the box so Shasha can get it. Yeah, that one is high. Oh, yeah. This one is high. That 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 one Oh. This has um uh this, I think this is more of a wine smell like yeah. well, but this, see, this right here is a it's a clone of um uh um jump not John Paul Gaultier. it's a clone of what is that fragrance that I had? Um ooh, I cannot think of it right now. Um I'll think of it. Um uh, and I'll come back to it, but it's a clone of you know the fragrance that's made like a gold brick? The one that looks like a gold brick. One million. This is a clone of yeah, one million. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this is a clone of one million Privé. But uh, oh, okay. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna um, step uh, stop step away. I'm gonna give Shia the floor so that she can talk about something that's great for the ladies. Oh, this. Yeah. One. Oh, okay. There we go. Back on. <laughs> so this is one of my favorites. Lady Grizz got me hooked on to this one. So I like. I told you already. I like um, like vanilla smells, but I also like to smell like candy or sweet or like chocolate. Like when I first met, met Bronwyn, she used to say you, um, dark skinned women all smell like chocolate as a joke. So, But now I do because I wear uh, sweet tooth. Sweet tooth is one of the, the best smells if you have like that, um, a sweet undertone in your skin. It, it really like, you really smell like candy. Like I, I smell edible all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and it looked like a chocolate bar. It looked like a chocolate bar. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> Well, candy bar, not a yeah, like candy bar. Mm -hmm. So, and then honestly, it smells like what it looks like. I smell like what I look like. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> well, when, I ain't, I ain't going nowhere near that one. Don't even touch it. Don't even touch it. Hey, hey, babe. Uh -huh. I had about six sentences I could say, and all of them would have got me. You looked that crazy. <laughs> But, um, that's, that's a good one for ladies. And another one that I wanted to talk, something else I wanted to talk about, fellas, if you got beards, there are two different things that you can definitely use, or a few different things. But if, as far as beard care, if you have a bit a long beard, please get yourself a wooden comb. Mm. Please stop using those plastic combs because they create static in your beard, and it causes your beard not to grow, and it causes your beard to smell. But because what happens is it, it, it drums up a lot of friction and it makes your neck sweat around the places where you comb. Mm -hmm. So also, if you have a smaller beard, a shorter beard, and um, you still want to night, you know, keep it nice and tame. Make sure that you get a hog's tooth, a, ho a hog's hair hog's brush. Hair? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. that's what I use. Oh, boy. Okay. Yeah, okay. Hair brush. And this one right here is from Cremo. Oh, that's my favorite company. Yeah, oh, okay. so I, honestly, I swear by Cremo. And um, honestly, this is one of the be better um, uh, brushes that you can get for your beard because what it, it actually it once again it brings down the friction when you're trying to when you're brushing your beard because in most of the other brushes they have they're made out of plastic and once again plastic 
causes a lot of static and stuff in your hair. And it causes that, like, if you're trying to grow a nice size beard, it's going to cause your beard not to grow. This is going to, and, and here's, and another thing that happens with it is if, if it's too too much uh, irritation, it'll start to uh, uh, irritate your skin. And so, honestly, if you have a nice size beard, definitely get yourself one of these. And if it's more of a smaller, manageable beard, just get this right here, man. This is actually perfect. And in all honesty, please moisturize your face. Please stop coming out here all dry face legit. Because in all mm -hmm. honesty, you basically, if you go in there and you use a nice uh, face wash and all of that type of stuff. Coming out here without putting any kind of moisturizer in your beard, you basically just wasted that. So I use Arlo's. So I use Arlo's beard oil. It's not very expensive, and it actually helps with your beard growth. And another thing, if you like to have a scent in your beard, and once again, we're going to go right back to this company, Crema. Okay. So this is actually something that if you have a, a, a larger beard and you have those like flyways where your beard – your beard stays this way, but you got a couple of pieces of hair pointing over there. Somebody over there in the corner, and if anybody has a, <laughs> nice house, maybe you know what I'm talking about. So this right here actually makes the beard lay down. And in all honesty, this one right here is gonna smell like a damn lumberjack. <laughs> a lumberjack? I don't know what a lumberjack smell like. Like he been out in the woods around <laughs> berries and, <laughs> and hickory and like time. <laughs> <laughs> trees definitely trees. Yep. Definitely trees. Hey, hey, Chris. Huh? But you know what's funny? I can, I can, I ain't, I'm not bragging or boasting, but I mm -hmm. can grow hair on my head. But as far as the beard goes, uh, uh -huh. I can't do it. Well, mine's is in reverse. Because <laughs> hey, my head made something hair. right there with you. Huh? I'd look I'd like be. an Andy Cap cartoon if I tried to grow a beard. I get patches. <laughs> hey, hey JB, yeah, my, my, my shit like public housing, a lot of spaces. Yeah, <laughs> definitely know that. And guess what? Every man in my family, except for me, can grow a beard. My son has a beard. Wow! Wow! Yeah, wow. Does have a beard. I you <laughs> my son, my brother, both of my brothers have beards. My dad had a beard. Mm. Uh, but JP, what you what you got looks cool, though, man. Thank you. I like it too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I can't even grow that. Well, you but know what? I, I, I might can get a beard weave if they if it's such a thing. Yes, no. it is. There is. There is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's they got a beave out there. Yeah, they they have a beave. It's not. <laughs> yeah, they got it's called, no, it's called a beef. No, no, no. You're no, making up stuff. Beef. Stop making stuff up, and I believe them. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they do have a, they actually have um, um, uh, a beard, like a um, beard wig mm -hmm. that you can put on. You, you get I, your face cleaned up completely. I and they'll, 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 man, they'll, they'll, they'll glue any damn thing on your face and your head now. Wow. Uh, you can walk in looking like a turtle and walk out looking like Idris Elba. <laughs> I like to see that happen. They do it all the time on uh, YouTube. I, they do it all the time on YouTube, Lady Shy. Yeah. They, they have the before and afters where they lay the like tracks down on the guy's head and go yeah. they groom down in strips. Then they shape it and cut it and then groom it, and it look like they got a. They, it don't even look like carpet. It look like natural waves in their head. Yeah. What's funny is I actually thought about going in one day to see what it looked like if I grew had, had hair on my head still. But then I thought about it. I don't give a shit about hair. Mm -hmm. I've had hair since I was twenty six. Yeah, I'm looking at you. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. I say, watch your black ass. Remember mama. the die situation? Say, you. Hold up, wait a minute, hold up. This is a true story, y'all. True story. And this is also another, another hygiene, another hygiene thing, grooming thing. Now this is a grooming thing. Please do not shock people. You know how ladies, one day they got short hair, the next day it looked like they just grew that shit like Rapunzel. Well, one day. I shocked the shit out of Shy. I called her on um uh I called her on um video chat and I had just dyed my beard black and I'm talking about like black beard black. I'm like man, I look younger. As soon as I got on the phone, she ain't say a word yet. She went, What did you do? I'm just staring at her. I said, 
the hell you mean what I do? I don't what, what's wrong with your face? Wait a minute, hold the fuck up. Wait a minute. That is not the reaction anybody should be giving me, Dennis. I swear to God, as soon as I got in the camera, it's almost like she didn't recognize me. She stood, she sat there staring at me for a minute, waiting for the actual me to show up, like I was tricking her or some shit. I didn't mean for my face to change up. Whole face. Uh, what, what, what now, I do have a question. What's up? So, one of the issues that I have, now I've tried to grow um, full beard. Okay. And it always seems to be uh, oily. Okay. Is that anything anybody here has experienced, or is it just me? I'm just curious. Well, yeah, but what happens when you, if you have naturally oily skin, it's going to come out oily. What happens is, um, uh, it, as the longer your beard grows, the less oily it will get. Then you'll have to start using products on it because what happens is when your beard grows really long or when you get a nice size beard, it actually starts to use up oil faster than you can produce it on your skin. So what happened is, believe it or not, your beard will take care of your oily skin around your face if you have oily skin around your face. Because right. you're going to I mean, it's a, see them oil. It's, it's, it's annoying. It's just really annoying. And that's the only reason why, you know, because I would yeah, like to support, you know, I would definitely like to. Uh, mm hmm grow some but it's just you, need, you, you, you would need some products that have alcohol in them to help cut the oil yeah because yeah. you know you're caucasian so caucasians naturally have oily hair oh. right yeah so yeah because y'all actually produce car cut caucasian mm -hmm. men actually pr produce a lot of sebum oil mm -hmm. uh, black, men, black men produce sebum oil as well but there's a reason that we have to use a lot more product number one because mm -hmm. It, our our beard is, is more kinky and because our beard yeah. is more kinky, it takes up a lot more oil as opposed mm -hmm. to you guys where your beard is a little bit more long and straight but honestly the longer and straighter it gets the more oil your face has to try to produce and then what will start happening is it'll start getting dry and you'll get dry patches and believe it or not you get dandruff in your beard so you want to start maybe keeping one of these keeping oils like this around because just and, and another thing, just make sure you wash your face, you know, at least twice a day, especially if you're trying to grow a beard. You got to wash your face at least twice, twice a day. Make sure you get a conditioner in at least once a month. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. To make sure that your beard is nice and soft, because what happens is as your beard starts to grow, if it's not soft, it'll irritate your face. And if mm -hmm. it starts irritating your face, then you start getting red patches and things of that nature. So basically. There's a lot of care that goes into growing a beard, but once you get it, and once you get uh, used to the routine of it, it becomes pretty simple. Because this right here, I put this in my beard once at night and once in the morning. I have a quite a, I have quite a few um, different beards that I can use, beard oils that I can use. But this is my go-to because it actually helps my beard grow pretty pretty quickly. And that's the uh, Arlo's one. Oh, okay. Yeah, Arlo's, and this one here is sandalwood and leather. So, um. Yeah, it does, it does a really good job, but if you also want to keep it an unscented, you can get an unscented oil because some people's skin's a little bit more sensitive. So you might want to get an unscented oil. It doesn't have to have a fragrance to it. You can get a nice unscented oil that um uh will actually help your beard grow pretty good and keep it manageable. And contrary to popular belief uh, by melanated friends and family, please use sunscreen. Absolutely. not enough to keep your skin healthy. I don't I don't know where that misnomer came from, but you need sunscreen. You yes. don't want cancer. You don't want melanomas on your face. So you definitely, definitely need sunscreen when it gets into those warmer months. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Don't don't like, you can also have like, you know, um, hats that help help with it as well. Yeah, uh, you don't have to have a whole lot of skin exposed all the time. Just limit how much you have your skin exposed to. So you want your vitamin D. You definitely want to get that, but make sure you limit how much time because it don't matter how much sunscreen you put on, the sun is always gonna win. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm wearing my man kingy. That's why I'm using my my. my... <laughs> Yo, what? I'm wearing my slingshot, my man, Kenny. I'm, man, be out it. <laughs> I'm wearing it. my banana hammock. I'm going to be out there. Hey, ladies, how you doing? <laughs> you put so much fun in there. 
trying to get beat up on the podcast. What I think he's saying. Oh wait a minute, don't shut it. Well, you did smell this, right? I don't know. I smell so many. Did you smell this? This is so. This is um. You saw the reaction with the uh with the fragrances that um that she was smelling for. Then this is the niche fragrance. So this is where she'll be able to tell you the the, the difference in quality. So that is a summertime spring scent. So. Ooh, that's nice. I can't tell what's, I can't figure the scents out though. You got apple, bergamot, lemon. That's Maybe it's the, the bergamot that I, okay. Mm -hmm. I don't even smell the lemon though. It's just like all the smells are nice that we put together. I can't break down. Oh, that's nice. Everybody that grew up in a, a black household should know what bergamot smell like. That's what I said. Hey, I, when he said the new hand curling time that red yeah. jar your mom had. Yeah. Crown, Crown Royal. Royal. Crown Royal Crown bergamot. Royal. Yeah. yeah. That's nice. Though. I forgot they had that damn scent in the, in the Crown Royal, the bergamot. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. Sure, sure did, man. That kitchen be smelling like Sunday morning. Mm hmm. <laughs> And don't hey, don't mess up them fresh Chris. fresh girls and teeny oh shit. <laughs> 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 hey, hey Grizz. What's up, brother? So I, I'm at work one day, right? And um lady that works in there, she was she's an older woman, uh, around my age. She was talking about how much she loved her husband, right? Yeah. So an officer walks into my work site and she her mind would offer her husband to tell me, she said. Guess what? I said, what? That, that officer right there, he smells delicious. I've never heard a woman say a man smelled delicious. Yeah, we say it all the time if they smell delicious. Yeah, I've, I've, yeah. Had, I've had so somebody tell me. I pulled him up and I asked him, I said, hey, this, I asked him, I said, bro, what, what are you wearing? He said, Prada Luna Rosa. Okay. I said, I got to get some of that shit. Like that. I want to smell. I know you got some. I know you had it. I, I knew it's up there. Okay. <laughs> let, let us see. It is right. Hey, Broman. Hey. I, I want to smell delicious too. I know that's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that one right there is nice. All men should want to smell delicious. Oh hell yeah. <laughs> I just been calling a grown man delicious. So now this, right here, <laughs> this everybody is part of the world flag. So now what's your what's your thoughts on it? I love it. Honestly, to me, let's put it like this. This is one that I'm gonna get another bottle of. Because I like to if, if it's something that I really dig, I'll get a backup bottle of it. Yeah. Yeah. And this yeah. is backup bottle word. Or or as I like to say in one of my videos. This is a BBW. <laughs> definitely a BBW. Now, Shasha, you tell me what you think about Proud and Rosa Black. This one is, that one was nice and light. Yeah, nice and, yeah, it's just yeah. clean. You know, it's just, That's a this for this time. Yeah, it's okay. perfect for summertime. So, How the heck you always right there. Okay. I can see why she said that. It's like that? I could definitely yeah. see why. This let me, is, you know how I always say lickable. That's definitely a lickable. Let me do this here. So. Broadway, mm -hmm. Broadway, we gotta put we gotta put Lady Shine time out. She being bad. Now tell him what the smell. Oh, that's definitely he definitely getting it. Mm -hmm. Did you say twice on Sundays? <laughs> <laughs> that's definitely twice mm. on Sunday. That's oh, definitely Lord. up the shower. Mm mm mm. Yeah. yeah, I can see. I can see why she said that. Oh, okay. Part of the Rosa Black is like that, bro. Mm -hmm. Like this mm -hmm. is like that. I'm telling you, like mm -hmm. you get this in your collection. No, y'all not going out. Okay, okay, okay. You ain't going out. I gotta get me some of that. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to drop that. <laughs> if, I, if I drop it one more time, I'm not going to have a life left. <laughs> but yeah, honestly, like. Believe it or not, like I wanted, I chose tonight's show because a lot of times we get on here and we talk about, you know, a lot of serious subjects. Sometimes we have fun or whatever, mm -hmm. but I never really got into this right here. And one of the things that I that's important, especially in our community, is self care, 
health care, mental health, things of that nature. Mm-hmm. You know, in all communities, not just our community, in all communities. It's, it's self-care, health care, mental health, things of that nature. And um one of the one uh, one of the definitely one of the most definite important things is definitely mental health. If you feel like you're having some sort of mental health crisis, uh, for anybody that's listening to my voice right now, anybody paying attention, please make sure you seek some kind of help or make sure you get a therapist. Uh, go through um, go to, through your job services or something like that. Make sure that you talk to somebody. You do not have to sit there and suffer in silence. And no matter, yeah. 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 And no matter what anybody tells tells you, it's there's no no shame in getting uh, yeah. none, none whatsoever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I have a therapist, and I and believe it or not, guys. I'm sure you won't believe it when I say it. I am living truth of that. <laughs> what of that, that mental health is mental health is good. That's right. Yeah, oh yeah, it's a it's a beautiful thing. And in all honesty, mm-hmm. like there are there are things that you'll be able to tell to your therapist that when you realize they don't take any personal stake in it, mm-hmm. it's just you talking to somebody who is there to listen to you, number one, and then number two, give you insight on things that you may not be able to see around the corner with. You know what I mean? Because I know that I things like he's the one that that made me realize certain things about my relationship with women stemmed from something that happened to me when I was nine years old. I talked about that um, uh, quite a few times on the show, you know, and um, there's another thing that there's also now that Lady Shy's here. I want to put out a disclaimer when she comes back, um, because and this is for, you know, the people on the Grizzly page. I'm going to start it. For the people that, that are on the Grizzly page, that hopefully you're watching tonight, and if you are, I appreciate it. But um, everybody, if you have a problem with a post, if you have a problem with something that somebody posts, oh, yeah. please scroll past the damn post. If you don't like it, scroll past it. And if you feel like it's something targeted towards you, please let us know, and we will handle it post-haste. But if you decide to report a video on the Grizzly page without consenting us first, you will be sub- subsequently released from the page immediately and you will be blocked. Because what we won't do is have you have a personal problem with one thing somebody said and get our whole entire page taken down because we worked so hard to build the page to where it is now. So unfortunately, this week, Lady Shy had to kick somebody out of the group because she did that very thing. She, Not she unfortunately, something. I had fun doing it. Yeah. Well, she had fun doing it. But um, but, but that's, yeah. yeah, I want people to understand that the page is there for people to learn, to have fun, to mm-hmm. be able to connect with one another, to have conversations with one another. It is not there as a personal attack. And if you, like I said, if you feel like you've been personally attacked, you reach out to Lady Sha or you reach out to myself, and we will handle that person. And if it, it all the way up until letting them releasing them from the group, because what we yeah. won't have is any kind of bullying. We won't have any kind of harassment. We won't have any of those kinds of things that would actually bring any kind of trouble or drama to the page. But if you just have a personal attack with somebody that you wait one second, John, if you have a personal attack with somebody that um, uh, a personal problem with somebody and you just don't like the way they said something, please do me a favor and scroll past it. Be an adult. Yeah. Scroll past shit that you don't like. I do it every single day. There, there are stuff. There's stuff that people post on the page that get on my goddamn nerves, and it's my page. But I scroll past it because it is not my job to police how people feel. And it's not your job to police how people feel. And once again, if you flag anything on that page, you would be immediately released from the page. So I just hope everybody understands we're not going to have what we built taken down because you have a personal issue. I think you covered pretty much all of that. Um but just scroll past. Leave, leave people alone. If you don't like what they're saying, move along. Yeah. You don't have to say something on every darn post. Like, yeah. And believe me, I'm up throughout the night and I'm catching these posts. And I'm like, just leave people alone and stop inboxing me over stupid stuff. Yeah. Be an adult and learn how to have a conversation. Like, and if you don't like it's, it, it's not always a debate. The people are not always angry. Sometimes it's just having a conversation. Learn how to have a, a, a back. Can y'all hear me? Learn how to be yeah. able to talk back and forth. Be able to, um, and then learn how to uh, learn to uh, learn how to agree to disagree. You're not going to always agree with what somebody else's opinion is, yeah. but they have a right to their opinion. You're not going to always 
be happy with what they said. So, but move the hell on. Move on. Grow the fuck mm -hmm. up. Grow up. Grow the fuck up, like she just said. Damn. Let's just be real. Because the thing, like, we, we all enjoy this page. We all enjoy this page. We all talk on this page. We all say shit. There are things that I say on the page people don't like. There's shit that people put on the page that I don't like. But I'm not going to. Now, if I decide to engage with the person, then I open myself up to whatever it is that they decide to talk to me about. Right. But mm -hmm. if I don't like it and I don't even feel like getting involved or dealing with it, then I just scroll past it. There, there are quite a few things on the page that I did not like, but I did not delete it and I didn't get rid of it because they have a right to speak as well. So, yeah. Can't call it an open yeah. forum if you go and cut people out. That's yeah. right. There are some posts that we're not going to let go, let through the <clears throat> porn. Um, mm -hmm. do overly, do. Right, overly excessive Wait a sexuality. There um, was porn? Yeah, somebody been, somebody, there's a mm -hmm. couple people try to put, well, Danny and put pornography up on it. Yeah, so we have or at least to, something that's inappropriate. Yeah. Um, no, that's not, that's not things that we're not going to let through, yeah. but we really try not to censor everybody because everybody on our page is over 21. So we're not trying to to tell you how to talk, but also yeah. we don't want our page to get let go either. Or Play, either. So, yeah. yeah. So there mm -hmm. is a, a level of, of balance that we have to keep as well to maintain our, our page. But we want you to be able to talk and have conversations. That's what the page is about. And not just talk, we try to come up with solutions as well. Not just be like talking about anything, but Come yeah, up with some solutions. solutions, but we do, and I like I throw some crazy posts out there because I want to break up the monotony, the monotony. sometimes yeah. of just random conversations. I want y'all to have fun on there and then enjoy the conversations and get to know the people on the page because when we have these meet and greets, I want you to be like, "Oh, you the one I was having that debate with," yeah. you know. So we want it to be fun. Exactly. Yeah. And if it's not your cup of tea, go make some go coffee. There's plenty of posts to pick from to talk about, to, to look at, and, or, and yeah. yeah. John or, has something you want to say. Yeah. Yeah. But no, I mean the other thing is like you know, people can leave. You know, it's that simple. If they don't like what's on the page, yes, there is a leave. You know, nobody's yeah. holding a gun to their head. They can go. Yeah, you can walk the fuck out. We'll find somebody else. I mean, I, I love it, and quite honestly. I mean, I haven't looked at every single post. I just don't have the time. But I haven't seen anything controversial. Because we block most of it. Yeah. And here's the funny thing. My thing is, if you're looking for shit to have a problem with, you are going to find something to have a problem with. Yeah. Yeah. Bottom line, if you're looking for a problem, you'll find a problem. But here's the problem. You're going to find dogs on this page that will bite your ass. So these people on this page are not soft. They're not timid, and they will snap at you. I do so like you might that. want to chill the fuck out. I do like that we have opinionated people who are um, have enough um, mindset to be able to whatever their, their, their opinion is, they stand firm on it. So I do like that. Mm -hmm. But I do want people to get away from everything is an argument because everything is not an argument. My opinion yeah. is my opinion. I'm not trying to change your mind. I'm just telling you how I feel. Um you have the people who are like, well, you don't have to be aggressive or take offense. I'm not yeah. taking offense. I'm literally behind the screen smiling or laughing, and yeah. I'm pretty sure whoever's typing on another end is doing the same thing. Yeah. So we're not always in an argumentative state. We're not already we're not always ready to fight somebody. Right. We're just talking and saying how we feel. But I really yeah. get tired of people well, inbox me like, did I hurt your feelings? Like, girl, girl oh boy, get out of here. Yeah. I said what I said. I moved on to another. I'm on a funny page now. I moved to a no whole, whole other thing. So, mm -hmm. yeah, get over get over yeah. thinking everybody's arguing with I'm you. I'm trying to attack yeah. you. In all, in all honesty, we have two police officers, two, two former police officers on this page. Guys, is there such thing as a tone police? As a who? As the tone police. Tone. No. Yeah, like if I, I say certain, never met certain things in a, if I say certain things in a certain kind of tone, uh, should I be arrested for that, or should you just get over your goddamn self? Just get over it. Take a take a laxative, and you'll be all right. Yeah, mm -hmm. take a laxative and let that shit go. Yep, because you got some pent up shit. Let it go. No let way! I just died laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, because it's just it's it's silly at this point. Because, like I said, like I wanted to, you know, I'm getting on here tonight and we're talking about fragrances and just talking about taking care of yourself. And the next part of this conversation I want to get into, Lady Shy, please tell these folks as you eat a cookie, 
as you eat a motherfucking cookie. <laughs> Milky cookie. <laughs> I gotta do it. I got. I can't believe I brought you up here to talk about health care shit. You eating a motherfucking cookie, a motherfucking cookie. And I'm gonna finish it. You can't even tell people how to take care of themselves. And you up here crunching on a motherfucking cookie. Swallow mm-hmm. that shit. Come on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> healthy cookies. There ain't oh, such a thing as healthy that cookies. Oh, shit. It's a healthy cookie. You throw it in the trash and get you a real cookie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. You okay. Tell me something. Have you put them in the freezer? They're true. He said, put them in the, co- in the freezer. Oh, Lord. He's trying to get me really. He put this cookie back in. All right, Lisa. Tell them about, first of all, you have a class coming up this weekend. Okay, so I'm getting back into my class, y'all. I kind of took a small break because <clears throat> my motivation had kind of waned off a little bit. Um, so I'm trying to get back, get my classes back up and going. So this starting back this Saturday, Bond Secure Resource Center, my cardio fitness class is called Cute Community Unified Through Exercise. I specialize in Mixed Fit, which is a cardio dance fitness program with Boot camp toning. It's um special. We are um people. I said that backwards. We are uh oh Lord, I didn't said it backwards. But basically, we uh base our class off of whom we are working with. I set, I set my music to the tone of the people I'm I'm working with, and the the speed of the class off of whom is there. So um any movements that I am doing that is is that might be high. Um, cardio. My daughter is there to show you the low cardio. She's also my partner, China. Um, but I was looking up. My class is only seven dollars. Classes are at nine thirty in the morning. Get up, get your your day started with a good class, and it'll help keep you in, keep you energized throughout the day. What else? You want me to say? Oh no, that was that's exactly what. Cause see, I'm a, I'm going to be there this Saturday. So, um, you know, if y'all want to come work out with Lady Shy, me and the rest of the crew, the people that's going to be there, come on out and enjoy yourself. Um, and also, it feels good to be around people that are good folk and that you care about and that um, can actually motivate you to get to a better place. Because Shy does a really good job of motivating you, but you also look at the people around you and you look at the different workout levels that they are and they're still putting in that time. And they're still taking taking the time out the first thing that, that you want to do, the most important thing is to show up. Everything else is gravy. The first step is to show up. Everything else <laughs> is just you choosing you. And see me, honestly, I looked at some pictures from 2018, and then I looked at some pictures of me yesterday. I ain't going to lie. Absolutely fucking disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Because I saw what I did in 2018. And believe it or not, I saw what I did in 2018 because of this young lady right here. Because she took me from 396 to 312. She, I lost all of that weight with her. COVID hit, but that doesn't mean I had to punch the refrigerator. But apparently I decided to get into a fight with the fridge and the fridge won. Mm-hmm. So now I'm trying to back away from the refrigerator again, get myself back into the kind of shape, even better shape than I was then. So my motivation has changed because guess what? It ain't about trying to get a six pack and ain't trying to get none of that shit. I just want to feel better and I want to I, I, I want to live because I have more than enough reasons to live. I got my family. I got Mrs. Grizz. I got you guys that are family as well. I have more than enough reasons to take care of myself. And I feel like it's selfish to just keep eating, eating yourself into a grave for self-gratification. The, 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 the best thing to do is to take care of yourself so you can enjoy what you need to enjoy with the people that you care about right now. So I'm choosing me. And I say, and also that is a benefit of my class, not just losing weight, but bonding with other people who are um, have their own stories or struggles that they're trying to beat. And coming to classes in, in a social setting will help you help you with your mental health, your physical health, and just overall just enjoying life. You get your energy back. You get um, motivated to do other things. It actually, dance has helped me in my my work life, my home life. It's helped me in so many ways. Oh, Literally true. changed my life in the last, what, six years. Dancing had, has done that for me. So come on out. Like I said, Saturdays at 9.30 at Bond Secure Resource Center, 31 South, 31 South Payson Street. So yeah, so um, that, uh, that bond secure is that? Do they have that bridge 
Like, like a little uh, pond that has a bridge over it? No. It's about, it's, so it's not by the hospital? No, it's about a block away. It's about a block and a half away from the uh, hospital. Okay. Because I haven't, I'm, I'm, this would be my first time going there to too. So location. I'm going to be yeah. first time going to this location. Now, all of them classes, where I've been to pretty, well, all of them. Yeah, you've been to every location I had, yeah. even when it was outside in a in a park. And I love the park. I ain't gonna lie. I like oh, we're gonna start that park. back up. I'm I'm looking for a new park so that um, we can have classes maybe on Tuesday night. Okay, okay. okay. Just asking. Uh, um, I'm not sure if my old my old site is still available because I you know people were fighting fighting me for that location. So yeah, yeah. we can we, well, look. Here's the thing. I already told you we can clip the bitches. We're not fighting people. Anywho, uh, I don't mind. Sure. Yeah, so start off with coming on Saturday. And we'll build it you, did you forget about the, the, the Thunder Twins, me and Bronwyn? Oh, my we will trip them bitches. <laughs> we will trip them. The Bronwyn's smiling a little bit more now these days, you know, just because so she, she may not trip them as hard. You know what I mean? But I'm I'm a I'm a Molly Wap. Oh you know what I mean? <laughs> Even though I'm smiling a little bit more, my goddamn stuff. Um, somebody pretty just walked in the room. Oh, you sneaking Well, everybody, also, another part of taking care of yourself is making sure. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Making sure you take care of your clothes, making sure that you, uh, you know, you might want to, you also might want to make sure that you, uh, you know, you replace your sneakers like Shia would always tell me, you replace your clothes and things of that nature. But you don't actually have to get something like these, but I also wanted to make sure that I, uh, um, I introduced them the other day on JB's podcast, but I'd be remiss if I didn't show them tonight on the sophisticated grizzly. Now, that's the box. That mm -hmm. they See that logo? Get your patties, DTs. What are those, <laughs> DTs? <laughs> <laughs> made an Italian, uh, Italy bag. I'm about to say Italian bag. I made an Italian. Italian. Look at that thing. That's a big ass foot there, though. Watch them out. Anywho, that's a, <laughs> that's a nice shoe. <laughs> Handmade, hand stitched, right? Yeah. Let me take it out of the uh, here you go. That's a big air shoe. Watch them out. They look good. That's nice. Logo. All right now. Look at that. Yeah. You rocking your own way. You, you did that. <laughs> That's what's up. That's nice. Yeah, that's Why like. spend money on somebody else when you can spend it on? Well, somebody That's you know, right. buy somebody you don't know stuff, yeah. you know them, and they quality. Right. And they're, they're very comfortable. I wore them yesterday. They very I'm not, not That's one time. Like Watch your black ass, mom. Okay, I just never. Just no, just <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, if you can buy something from Nike or Jordan, whatever, whoever, people that y'all don't even know, spending money, spend some money on somebody you really truly know who's building his brand. Building his company up. Mm -hmm. Right here. Y'all know he's a lovely guy. His lovely guy. He's a lovely guy. <laughs> this is a long time in the making. I've been trying to get these shoes up off the ground since about 2017. And um, believe it or not, it's something that I told Ms. Briz. Uh, every milestone that I've that I, that has happened to me. Um, she every every major milestone, a really good, you know, just um something that I've always wanted to do has happened to me since she's come into my life. So oh, another thing that I also I wanted to want to say is make sure that you take the time out to, to pay attention to and and spend time with and love on your loved one. Yeah. Because yeah. number one, that's another part of mental health. The mm -hmm. people around you, the people that you care about. The people that that actually care about you and put the time in you, time into you, like you put into them, you know what I mean. And we're not talking about leeches and nobody like that. Like, like to, tonight, if I woke up in the middle of the night and I just needed a brother to talk to, I got three brothers right here on the screen I could actually call, and I know you already know. Yeah, she can. Yeah, she can. You know for a fact, based 
they can call me anytime, any any day. Um, JB already know, Andre know. Y'all call me anytime, any day, and I'm gonna wake up, be available, and let's 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 talk about it. Let's get into it. All the ladies on screen, child, you ain't even gotta ask no damn questions. You know what I mean? Bronny, you ain't gotta ask no damn questions. Jay ain't gotta ask no damn questions. If y'all need me, I'm right here. And it's and it's people like that that you have in your life that actually help you on this mental health, health care, and all of that journey. Cause they're also people that be, make sure that you be accountable for the shit that you say. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you tell people, yeah. hey, I'm gonna back away from sugar and this, that, and the third, if they see you eating something wrong, they're gonna say something to you. Mm-hmm. And some and you, and the thing about it is is don't take it personal because you made them a part of your journey. Mm-hmm. You put them in the journey when you decided to talk about it. What you need to worry about is the people that watch you eat that shit and then step back and don't say a word to you. And then when you start to say, man, I wish I hadn't ate that. And then they come back, well, you know, I, I know what you had said, but I ain't want, you know, I ain't want to bother you with it. You know, I mean, no, you put told it down. Me, see, that's the type of shit. Deep now, they'll say something to you. You know what I mean? And so the thing about it is, is, when we get into these kinds of conversations and when we, when we um, spend this kind of time, and that's re- one of the reasons why I really wanted to get into this conversation tonight. Because for me, as much as I love fragrances, it's not just about fragrances. Every part of this conversation has something to do with taking care of yourself. Mm-hmm. It is the most important mm-hmm. thing you can possibly do because there's no way in hell you're going to be able to take care of anybody else unless you start with yourself first. Okay. Because okay. you're running raggedy. How can you possibly be there for somebody else? How can you possibly right. give them everything that you're supposed to give to them if you haven't even done the minimal for yourself? Mm-hmm. The minimal for yourself. Like the minimal is get up in the morning and taking care of your skin, washing your face, brushing your teeth. But if you're worrying about if your first thing you do is get up and make sure they wash their face, brush their teeth, this, that, and third, you're not even bothering to do that same thing for yourself. Now, if you have a partner, that does that for you. Like if you remind them, hey, you need to take your medicine, and then they turn and say, well, you need to take yours. So now you have that accountability part. Mm-hmm. And that's a beautiful thing. But in all honesty, if you really don't have somebody around you like that, then that's probably not somebody to need to be around. Because in all honesty, you take as much time and care into them that they care in, that they put into mm-hmm. you. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like I said, if it's if it's just you. Make sure that you are making sure you're okay. You got to make sure that you're all right. And you can't, you, and that's the thing, it's it's easy to do that. Yeah. And the reason being is because you think about so many other things that need to be done. Other things have always in most of our lives taken priority over what we need to do for us. That's why we be at the job. We don't forgot we ain't took no vacations. We don't forgot we ain't took no time to ourselves. By the time you actually take the time off of work, it's a sick day. Because right. your body's so tired, you done got sick. So you're not even taking the time off to really take care of yourself. You're taking that time off for being for healing your body. And here's the problem. You're so stressed out about missing work that you ain't even take the time to truly heal properly. Right. So sometimes you just got to unplug from every yeah. damn thing and every mm-hmm. damn body. Yeah. And in all honesty, mm-hmm. people that love you will understand sometimes you got to unplug. Sometimes I can't be there for you. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I can't pour into you. Because in all honesty, my cup empty. My cup is empty. I have nothing left. Like, I need a moment to refill my cup with God, with self-care, with mental health, with hell. If I want to watch a cartoon, give me an opportunity to just do that without being disturbed for just one moment. Just Mm -hmm. to take care of me for one moment. I can get back to you. Somebody called you Tetris. That's Juwan. <laughs> if you see any crazy know. ass names come across there, know. that's my brother. <laughs> I should have known because he gave you most of the names that you call me. <laughs> like, Shy used to call me Teddy Spaghetti. <laughs> but I agree with you wholeheartedly, Grizz, because you remember, yeah. I think it, it's been a while, but like, I think it was like a, about a year ago, so more ago. Remember, I, I just disappeared for a yeah. day. Yeah. And yeah. Um, the only person who knew I was was my wife, and she wasn't yeah. even with me because I oh, needed to be, be away from everything and just not have to think about 
this my job here not have to think about my my responsibilities as a husband i needed a clean slate day where i yeah. just needed to feed myself and energize myself and you know you know reflect contemplate readjust realign and you can't do that to me in any environment where you have a responsibility you have to clearly take yourself off of off the map to do that because even if my wife said you're not answering your phone i said no i'm not i said when i'm on my way back home i'll do it i'll i'll call i'll call you up but I, my phone will be on so if there's an emergency text me and i'll be back home but as soon as i can but i prefer that if it's an emergency that you handle it until i can be, get there you know, right. luckily there were no emergencies and I was able to take this whole day to cleanse and just reflect and just be somewhere where nobody knew where I was. I didn't answer my phone. And you need that. You need that clean slate day. Sometimes yeah. it, it may be a week. So, so, so what I want to say real quick is it's good to have those days or times or whatever. But before you do, let somebody know that you you're stepping off the map so they won't be worried about you so oh, yes oh yeah i told everybody no, that but i would be just saying, yeah you can't just are, you can't just disappear i know people understand. do that even if it's for a day or two let some let the person especially if you're in a relationship yeah. let that person know look i'm taking a day i'm not ignoring you but i need mm -hmm. this time myself. you gotta say it because they're sitting there thinking like What's going on? Why can't even why haven't I, well, I haven't heard from that? You got that person stressed out. Oh goodness, what's going on? So you you have to be communicating with your your spouse in advance. Like I I, I need some downtime or whoever you know, so somebody knows what's going on. Yep. Sometimes you gotta come down and come up. All right, y'all. I'm getting ready to go. I'm tired. All right, Bronnie. All right. Yeah. Talk to y'all later. Good. Good to see right. you, Bronnie. All right. Thanks. Have a good one. That's all. That's all right. what I had to say because yeah. I just feel like people be yeah. lacking communication when they're upset or they're down or they have a, need that moment, but they gotta talk, because, well, say something to somebody yeah. so that, like I said, so they won't be lost thinking it's them why you ran off, ran away, and not mm -hmm. talking. Yeah, because you get, and that's you know you don't want to be ghosting people. Right, they think they ghosting. Um, yeah, that's 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 very inconsiderate. I can't, I can't. That bothers me. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? The thing about it is, anybody that I've ever stopped talking to, I told them I was gonna stop. Yeah, I said it, and the reason that I said it because I didn't want there to be any any question mm -hmm. on number one the fact that I'm I'm rolling out and why I'm rolling out because I want you to know exactly why I'm not I'm not bothering with you I'm not dealing with you I'm not fucking with you we're not doing none of this shit. But not even you just know? that, but like just like taking just a day, yeah, taking a day. day, not even literally just breaking up or something or yeah. stop dealing with them. Yeah. But I just need some time to myself. Yeah, I just you know, and that's the thing. I'm just telling people like, it. look, I just need today. Be that's open. Because there's been I don't know if y'all have ever seen there are times on Facebook where I'll put I, I have this one specific thing that I put put up on play on uh, Facebook, and it's two chords and it just says unplug. Mm. And that's to let you know, please don't reach out to me on Facebook. I never don't knew reach that. Out to me I still text. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, well, I didn't know. Now I know. What happens is I turn off my phone. If I'm unplugged, I turn off my phone. Because believe it or not, even sometimes the stimulation from the phone can be stressful. That's true. Yeah. Because there are times where you can't even go to sleep because you worry about what that next text was, mm -hmm. what that next notification was, whatever. There are times, believe it or not, one of the things that I watch, one of the things that helps relax me because I can't wait for the day that I can go out there and do it. I watch these guys on YouTube building building cabins in the woods. Mm -hmm. So they'd be in the woods building yeah. log cabins and shit like, and I'm talking using what you can handle. Yeah. And I'm watching them not because, you know, it's like, oh man, that would be so great. That would be so uh, I'm watching them is because I'm watching how they're just one with themselves and the build. You know what I mean? And it, nothing else matters. Yeah, of course, there's a camera person working, but they're not worried about the camera person at all. They are in there, in it, in their zone. actually in their zone, yeah. building these things. You should see some of these structures that they build. They'd be immaculate. I and watch it too. Handles. Yeah. And so that's the thing. So when you get those types of situations, you have to unplug. You know, like I said, he there's runs. somebody else filming, filming but um, uh, you have to unplug. A lot of times, Grizz, they're using time-lapse cameras they set up themselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
it's cool when they add a pool to it, but yeah, anywho, you have to be watching them too. <laughs> yeah, it's just one of those things where you just have to, and, and just, this, we say all that just to say that sometimes your cup is empty and you can't keep trying to fill other people's cup with an empty cup. You can't yeah. do it. You can, and, 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 and another thing that I want to tell people, and this is for people's mental health, sometimes closure is closing the door. And walking away. Sometimes closure is just closing the door because some people are not going to give you the opportunity to have closure because it's what you need. Sometimes when the closure is what you need, then you need to initiate the closure. Just close the door because you're so, never going to get what it is that you're looking for from them mm -hmm. because they were never able to give it to you. Mm -hmm. Not to mention, sometimes the closure means that you were the problem and you need That's to possible. forgive yourself for what you allow and even the things that you did. Because mm -hmm. sometimes we don't pay attention to the part that we played in the hell that's in our life. Mm -hmm. But the things that we allowed to happen, the things that we accepted, mm -hmm. and sometimes the things that we initiated. Mm -hmm. Because we always say, well, I did that because they did this. But that doesn't mean you had to. Right. You know what I mean? So We're it's preaching. almost like, yeah. Go ahead, pass the tally. <laughs> Oh. It's almost like it when somebody says, well, I cheated because you did this. No, you cheated because you wanted mm -hmm. I did. I cheated because mm -hmm. I wanted to. I didn't cheat because I had to do. It had shit to do with her. It had nothing to do with her. It had everything to do with me making that choice myself. Because I've always told people, before you step out on somebody, you got so many opportunities to stop. You got you, you can Before you put your clothes on, before you walk down the steps, before you put your shoes on, before you walk out the door, before you close the door. While you're walking down the steps, while you get to the car, while you open the car door, while you get in the car, you close the car door, you turn on the damn ignition, you put your foot on the gas and the pedal, and you start driving. You had all of those opportunities to not do any of that. It was a mistake. I'm just so kidding. So that's the thing. <laughs> yeah. By that time, it's no longer a mistake. You done made a choice. You know what I mean? So the thing is, it's like you have to understand, like, and believe it or not, sometimes choosing yourself doesn't include another person. Absolutely. You know, so, because some people some people think, well, I choose myself, so I'm going to go be with this person. Sometimes it ain't got nothing to do with another person. Sometimes it, there's a lot of times it has everything to do with you regaining the, your skill. Yeah. With you putting your putting yourself back together. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, things like this can only mask what is actually going on with you. Mm -hmm. When you got hell in your heart, there ain't no fragrance in the world that's going to make you smell good. Because you'll smell good stink. externally, but internally you're going to stink to yourself. Mm -hmm. You're not going to see yourself. Putrid. And believe it or not, stress comes out in your pores. Mm -hmm. So there are times where certain fragrances will smell good on other people and yeah. they stink on you because your, yeah. your, your stress levels and whatever it is that you got going on is actually coming out and seeping mm -hmm. into the fragrance. So the better you feel about yourself, the better you take care of yourself, the more that you do for yourself, the better all of this will be. Mm. The better the skincare will be, the better the fragrance will be, the better the odorant will be. Hell, I use this right here on my face. The better your face will be because there is no amount of moisturizer that you're going to use on your face mm. that's going to help you, you know when you're stressing face. out from some when you're stressing out from something that you did that's making mm. your face break out. Mm -hmm. So true, so true. Some shit you just got to let it go. Yep. Let yep. go, and if you say I let go and let God, guess what? You can't say I let God let it, let God have it and keep your hands on it. Mm -hmm. If you say you're putting it in God's hands, as long as you're still holding on to it, they nothing he can do with it. So, so true. You really so gotta true. let it go. Yeah. And in all honesty, when gotta people, if somebody, if you feel like somebody done did you wrong, think about this. If you feel like somebody done did you wrong, if you done put it in God's hands. Then you may never even see what happens to them, but just understand this: that whatever that was has no longer has anything to do with you. God got it, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and now it's your time to heal and take care of you. You know, but you know what? I I I think we had a pretty good one tonight because uh, it's, it's I know we we've been on here talking and preaching and talking about fragrances and all that, but um, yeah, I, um, I really think that this was a pretty good one tonight. Um. Although we started off talking about balls, <laughs> what's up? What's up, baby? Hey, hey, Grizz, I, I, I have a I have a respectful bone to pick with you. What's happening, brother? Well, like I said, in the morning I get up, man. I take my shower, 
throw my towel on. I go to my cologne stash to see what I'm going to put on. And damn near every morning, I'm running late because I don't know what the hell to put on. <laughs> Too many options. Can Pick I help you out Oh, that's another good one. That pick right it, there is pick um, your uh, fragrance the night before based on your outfit. I do, bro. I pick, oh, damn. Oh, I took point. Hold on, bro. There you we go. We almost took him off. I almost took you off. Hold on. There you go. Right there. there bro, and, 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 and Grizz, and because of yeah. you, the, I'm, I'm, I got this bottle thing going on, man. Yeah, it, it's Chrome. Chrome Legend. Yes, yes, yes. And then, on top of that, Oh, yeah, 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 you got the Did chrome original. You got the chrome original. Well, I feel like I smelled that one. Is that the parfum? Um, you know what? Yes, yes, yes. So that basically that is a um another rendition of uh, Aqua di Gio. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so that's basically Aqua. I don't have Aqua di Gio. You see me yeah, that one. Eternity Aqua. I got that up there too. See, you you recommended it, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now all you need is the Eternity um flame. Okay, okay, okay. One second, let me, because I know she, she already looking for it. <laughs> you said eternity flame. Yes, sir. Uh, here we go. Hey, hey, Grizz, you know you, you're like E.F. Hutton. <laughs> when I talk. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, my phone is about to die. All right, brother. Thank you. And I just want to say I didn't get to say loofah or washcloth tonight. Oh. <laughs> well, make sure you get your loofah and your washcloth. <laughs> you, you, you can't. You got to do loofah or washcloth. That's it. That's right. <laughs> All right, and my anyway, brother. Y'all have a good one. And I definitely you do, Dre. You. And, and JB, send me that. Uh, I will send loofah. you a link personally. Okay, sir. Thank you. Y'all have All a right. great. I'll see you in the morning, Dre. Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all have a great one. You do the like same. I like that. That's nice. You sprayed it? No, I didn't spray it. I was just sniffing it. Yeah. So this is the um eternity. Uh, let me see in the box. Yeah, that's the eternity flame. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, we. Sweet in the back. Yeah, it's sweet. It's um uh it's it's actually for this time of year. Okay. And this is the one. This is the chrome that I got, brother. Okay, chrome united. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. But yeah, so I I know we I know it's time because JB got to get hurry up and get up out of here because he got to drive home. I so uh, drive before home. and Chad got to drive home. So before we get up out of here, I want to get JB up here so he can talk about where we can find him every single Monday night. That's right. Thank you, Grizz. But every Monday night, we are doing it over here live at 8.05 at the Grown Man Click Podcast. That's me, my boy Scott T., my boy the Slut Gang CEO, Richie Rich is in the building, my boy Van Gogh, and always coming in to be put on his two cents every year is John. Just John. We are uh, actually are going to be revisiting the subject that we never got to this week because we were just inundated with a lot of current events so um this com coming monday we're going to be talking about doing too much you have those people who do too much you have you ever done too much and when does doing too much become a turn on or a turn off so we're going to delve into that subject real heavy on Monday. Um, that's right, Monday at 8.05. That's the Grown Man Click Podcast. We're uh, with me, my boy Scott T., my boy Richie Rich, and my boy Van Gogh and John and Grizz are always there to support. So thank you very much, and we'll see you on Monday, Grown Man Click Podcast. That's what's up. And Lady Shaz over here um, sniffing this Chrome United. Base, where it is tomorrow? Which one? The Chrome. What, which chrome? The, um, United. United. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't have the. Um, I got you have the, United. No, I don't have the. I don't have the United. I got the Chrome Legend. And Legend is close to that. The Azaro Chrome. I got the Azaro Chrome. I don't have the United yet. Is Azaro Chrome be yeah. close to this? Or yeah, no? they, yeah. They they have the same DNA. This just has a little bit more lemon and bergamot. Okay. And they the all chrome. have the same. Do the chrome. Do the chrome. Yeah. Things of that nature. Lady Shot, for you, I will do the chrome. Yeah. yeah, and uh, we got Jay Nicole down here now. Jay, please.
please uh, let people know. I got the body butter, and I wanted to definitely get into that. Jay Nicole actually makes body butter butters, mm -hmm. and um, uh, in all honesty, she puts her foot in them damn things. Okay. Even as small as her foot is, I was gonna say little toes in, in it. There, you know what I mean? <laughs> and they actually smell extremely good. Um, I can actually pair it with some of some of the fragrances that I have here, and it actually and it doesn't overpower it. No, it doesn't. It okay. enhances the fragrance. Because it melts into your skin really well, okay. so it honestly she does an a, an amazing job, and I just wanted to make sure I gave her a flowers. But Jay, if you wanted to just take a second to tell people about it yourself, you got you, your floor is yours. Um, it is all naturally made, no chemicals whatsoever. Uh, grape seed, Spanish rosemary. Mm -hmm. You have jojoba, uh, coconut oil, shea butter. And the fragrances, <clears throat> they aren't chemicals either. They're also oils. Um, I mean, everything in my kitchen, I am dibbling and dabbling into soap, unfortunately, that I can't say that that's all natural because it has preservatives in it. So it has that bit of an additive. And other than that, that's strictly oils also. Fellas, mm -hmm. I got you covered too. Beer oil is in the work and it's still in the trial stage. About to hit shelves like about maybe two weeks, two weeks. All right, okay. she's coming yeah. for Website is also in the works, in progress. But yes, I, I appreciate you, Mr. Green. Well, what is the name of your Jerry. company, Jay? It's called Jay Amore. Jay Amore. Jay Amore Luxurious Body Butters. Jay, Jay Amore, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So it's, oh, cool. it's nothing special. Well, what? Yeah, it's, a, it's spectacular. How dare you trying to be like modest, modest enough like that? But you know, I don't think it's nothing spectacular. You know, you're, you're your own worst critic. Yeah. And Jerry, well, you know I how I can be. I can, I can yeah. still find. <laughs> I can still find stuff to fix about it. Hey, Girl, this shit me, is fire. Let me tell you this shit right now. It's fire, and you just need to stand in that fire because them shits is nice. I still got a few hey, remnants hey, of the last hey. one that you gave me. Remnants <laughs> got a handful of them, you know. What my I mean? co worker came to me at work holding a jar, like, ma'am. I'm like, Did you know, my first thought was, Is something wrong? Like, what happened? She was like, I've been trying to scoop and dibble and dabble, but I, I can't. I need more. I need more. You got oh, a okay. Yeah, so busy. I told you, you know, Sheila time. was mad at me. I came home with that little black bag. She shut the hell up. It was like, Thank you, honey. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> did she and like, the, probably, did she like that fragrance? Yeah, okay. and they've been fussing at me for weeks. So I finally came home, came and, got, came and got me and Mrs. Grizz stuff. We both loved them, you yeah. know what I mean? So, yeah, so definitely make sure y'all, once the website goes up, don't play around, go out there and get this right. damn stuff. And, and I say, honestly, that you can use it on everything, that even everything, that's yeah. Yeah, everything. That's why I was going to ask you for the hair. Okay, cool. Yep, yep. Yeah, I, I got, it's, it's all, it's it's all oils. Work. So everybody, I want to thank you guys for joining us on the Grizzly today. Thank you for making this a successful show. And make sure that you like, share, and subscribe to the content for the health channel to grow. Make sure you hit that bell notification so that you know whenever we go live or whenever I upload a video so that you can rock with us the way we rock with y'all. And if you got a problem with what we had to say, you got something that you got to say about the shit that we had to say, here's what Lady Shy got to say to you. First, grow the hell up. And shut your damn mouth. Thank you. Shut your black ass mouth. Have a good night, everybody. But y'all already know that the way that we uh the way that we end is not like that. The way that we end is this right here. They hate when you elevate The second of losses, I'm handing them out, yeah, I had to go delegate I feel like I'm floating, I'm lost in the moment, I swear I could levitate They never believed that I would really fly, I had to go demonstrate I had to set them straight